And for you to literally spit on your dog, you have to be psychotic. Let's go. What's good? What's poppin'? It's your boy Denzel Dion, and welcome back to my channel. Are you poppin'? Because I know I am. Okay. I am back with another video. Yes, and as you guys can see by this title, this is going to be a drive with me. Don't know what I'm going to talk about, but all you're going to be doing is driving with me. So I'm just going to drive around, talk my shit like I always do, and that's it, and that's on period. Hey, darling, if this is your first time seeing my face or knowing my existence, please click that subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That helps me a lot. If you, yes, you, if you are watching this video right now, stop this video and give it a big fat thick thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get right on into this video, shall we, darling? To start off this video, as you guys know, may not know, uh, my hair color is different. I am no longer black. I am now auburn. And that's just what the T is. The only color I've ever dyed my hair before was auburn, and that's when I was bald. <laughs> um, freshman year, I dyed my hair auburn. And, you know, I didn't want auburn this time. I wanted a ginger look. Okay, I wanted that scissor ginger. That's the color that I was going for, but I was like... Yikes, I don't know how that's gonna look and then I wanted a light brown and this is just what I got so yeah I like my hair color. I would never bleach my hair. I Bitch who? Who poo? Who? I'm not the type of bitch to bleach my hair. I am so sorry My hair is just so healthy and I would never just damage it by just bleaching it. Okay, that's what there's wigs now There's extensions now bitch. Why are you gonna bleach your hair? Not me. Not I. But no, they're just turning on with everybody All these bitches are just dying their hair and just bleaching their hair. I'm like, oh my god, sweetie I look for the content, you know what I mean? No shade, no tea. I would never bleach my hair. When people bleach their hair, it just gives me like anxiety for them. Just because you bleach your hair doesn't mean it's gonna be bad. Growing up where I came from, the girls who always bleach their hair, but you come back bald. Like the hair just starts falling out. Like it just gets smaller, smaller, smaller. That's why when I think of bleached hair, I think of bald, I think of patches. The girls I know who used to bleach their hair, they still come back to school in two weeks bald. The hair just off. Yeah, I just wasn't feeling the long hair. I decided to cut it short. No, sweetie, the hair was falling off. You saw it and you chopped it off. Do you guys like this color? A lot people like it i want to go back to black though for sure because black is like so sexy so cut so clean so sleek i love black back to school advice i just have so cliche be yourself don't fit in exactly bitch fit out don't try to accommodate to nobody's type of lifestyle you know what i mean because people be trying to fit in with the cool kids you don't need to be a cool kid you are that bitch period point blank period so when you go to school even if you're a freshman you're a sophomore you're a junior even if you're a senior I will say this for all grades, going into high school, if you're going to high school for the first time or the next time, watch out for the fake bitches because they're everywhere. They're like roaches. They're like mice. They're like rodents. People see right through fake. Don't try to be someone else you're not. I mean, if you're in middle school and you're going to high school, it's now your chance to start off brand new, start off fresh, you know what I mean? Not that many people know you, so you could not like change your whole stuff up, but you know, if you want to upgrade yourself, upgrade yourself, you know what I mean? Mentally, physically if you want academically you feel me but yeah trust me high school will be over and i i wish i could go back to high school for the social aspect part of it not for the work my advice is watch out for the fake bitches number two be yourself number three be that bitch number four do the work in high school do the work in high school but what year you should really you should go hard all years but what year you should really go hard for is junior because they look at your junior year like the acts and sats this is what i learned in school i don't know if it's still like this that's how it was back in my day Ooh, back in my day today day, day they only give a f about you being a junior because freshman you're just not coming in from middle school you're now just like you're not getting the feel of things you know what i mean so don't really look at freshman year sophomore year is like okay they're getting the hang of it it's the second year they should be okay third year Bitch, you have to have this shit together. This is your 30 in high school. The grades need to be on point for you to go somewhere. Your high school friends will not be your friends forever, so keep that in mind. And let me tell you something. Teachers should really get paid more than what they do because now I look back and like things that some of my teachers told me, I was like, damn, like they really knew what they were talking about. You know what I mean? And also, do what the hell you want to do. Don't let nobody tell you to do this. Oh, you should do, do whatever you want to do. Point blank, period. Nobody can tell you what to do. Unless it's your parents and they're paying for everything. Um, then you have no choice. High school is a really, really tough place for some people. It's a really hard place, but you know what? High school will not last forever. It is only four years, and this four years will fly by. High school ain't nothing compared to what you're going to face in life. So I will say that. People think high school lasts forever. It doesn't. So yeah, that's just all I have on high school. Just be yourself. Don't fall into nothing. Don't get peer pressure into anything at all. And do you, okay? Don't let nobody peer pressure you or whatever. I really... Honestly, truly, dislike when I introduce somebody to a friend of mine. I introduce a friend from a different friend group to another friend, right? Because you don't have different friend groups, but you can't mix that friend groups in here. You can't just mix that friend groups. You have different friends with different things, you know? And you have your main bitches. But if I introduce you to somebody, 
and y'all start hanging out, that's perfectly fine with me. Bitch, I'm not going to tell you where to go, where to sit. Who am I to tell you where to go, who to hang out with? But the moment it becomes a problem for me, it becomes, like, iffy for me, is when you start acting sneaky about it. If I ask you, oh, what you doing tonight? Oh, nothing, by bing, bada, boom. And then I ask my friend what they're doing, and they say, oh, you're coming over to their place. Don't do no stupid shit like that. You will get cut out like this gum in my hair. How dare you? Don't lie to me. Don't say a lot of me. When both of y'all start acting sneaky and start like hiding and dodging, like if you're a friend of mine, you know who I am. I'm very blunt and I'm very straightforward. If I don't like something, I will tell you. Point blank period. And you can either take it or you can leave it. Just like how if I'm not cool with somebody, I will never tell my friends to don't talk to them. Just for the simple fact that but you are your own person, okay? It just shows you as, as a character, as a human being. What you gonna do? Oh damn, am I gonna still talk to this bitch because my friend don't like him? Or I'm just gonna be me. I'm the type of person, let me tell you this. If my friend tells me that they don't like somebody or whatever, and I was a f***ed up from the beginning, then I won't f*** with you. Now, if it's somebody that I f*** with before I f*** with you, oh, then I'm not gonna stop talking just because y'all have a, a, a falling out. No, I don't do that. I don't go on people's teams. It's just sometimes it's loyalty, you know what I mean? And if it's like somebody you don't really truly don't f*** then okay. But I'm sorry, I'm not the type of bitch to tell you don't talk to this person. You do what you want to do. And you move the way you want to move and I see the way you move and that's it. I know what? Well, also with YouTube, I feel like with YouTube, there's just always drama and I just don't know why. First off, I said this on Twitter, I'm going to say this again. You do not say the N-word by accident. You don't do that. So therefore, if you said it before, it's in your regular vocabulary, you need to get it out. Like, I'm tired of all these YouTubers getting called out for it. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. It was a mistake. Bitch, it wasn't a mistake. Who says that word by mistake? How dare you? Who says that word that never says it before by mistake? How is that even possible? If it's not in your vocabulary, it wouldn't have slipped out. I just don't get it. You say it regularly. It's your lullaby. You sing it to sleep. Like, own your shit. If you say, like, okay, I'm so sorry that I say it and offends people, let's move on. Don't say, I'm so sorry I said it once. Bitch, you a liar. You a whole damn liar. You're a liar. And I'm tired of people getting all these passes and stuff. Like, oh, no, people make mistakes. Yeah, people make mistakes. But those same YouTubers who make mistakes all the time, in person, they make those same mistakes. I just don't say nothing because I keep my mouth quiet. I don't want to get crazy with nobody because if someone gets crazy with me, the situation will escalate very quickly. I'm not the type of bitch to talk, 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 talk. I don't have the time for the talking. It's just the same privileged people that just keep making these mistakes and they're just going to keep getting the pass from it just because they're just so relatable and so quirky and... You know what I mean? Mm, 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 mm. Like, come on. Like, I'm tired of it. I mean, I feel like the years are just going younger, younger, younger. And let me say this, too. I'm tired of people using the mistake. I'm a teenager. I'm human. I make mistakes. I don't know what's right from wrong. You're not a regular teenager. You're not a regular. Like, come on. I'm just learning in this big world. Like, shut up. I am tired of that excuse. I have something wrong with okay, I own it, but I'm not gonna sit here and blame it on my age. I started making my own money when I was 14, 15. I moved out to LA when I was 17. When I moved to LA, I'm 17, I'm a minor, but I'm living like an adult. I'm getting paid, I'm working, I have my own apartment. There's no your mistakes. Like, you, I, I just don't understand what goes through people's heads. Like, what goes through your head? Like, you don't know what's right and wrong, and the shit that they say. Like, do you not hear it coming out? Like, are you dumb? Like, are you dumb, 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 dumb stupid? Like, I just. I don't get it. Y'all yeah, need to stop supporting certain people, stop putting money in their pockets because they do not give a fuck about you. They don't. They actually don't. Like, you can't make the same mistake over and over and over again. It's just, like, I just don't get it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the racist jokes. I'm like, how do you be racist by accident? Like, what? Bitch, it was self-taught. It was home-taught. It was homegrown. Or something. I just... But you know what? It's fine because these dramas happen for two weeks and then they get canceled for two weeks and they'll be right back to making any money and getting any regular views. Because they're so relatable and so cute and so quirky. Don't tell people online that you don't smoke, that this is bad, and then do that shit behind closed doors. I get that some people are trying to set an example. You know what I mean? Because you can always set an example that's cute. But don't sit here and bash something if you do it because that's very hypocritical. Like me. I say I don't smoke and I don't drink. I still don't smoke. Do I drink? Occasionally, do I get drunk a lot? No, not really. It's fine. I'm not going to say, like, weed is bad. I hate weed. Weed is bad for you. Don't smoke, kids. Turns off camera. Oof. It's been a long day. Like, come on. It's just so funny. Like, guys, don't do this. <laughs> YouTubers are actually so funny. YouTubers are actually so funny. Oh, uh, that's why I just can't wait for me to be a celebrity and just be the star that I am. Because, uh, because it just makes all of us look bad. You know what I mean? But like, just it just makes all of us look bad. Just idiotic YouTubers. Just oh uh, my god. And I will say about that dog abuse situation. For you to literally spit on your dog, you have to be psychotic. You have to be 
idiotic for you to spit. Who spits on a dog? What type of human are you? When I saw that video of her, like, a dog? I am just... Yeah, girl, you are done. It's just a lot going on on YouTube right now. It's just a lot, and it's just like, sheesh. There literally needs to be a YouTube apology section because these YouTube apology videos are actually getting insane. These are how these YouTube apologies go, okay? I'm so wrong. I know that I'm so wrong, and I have to learn from mistakes. I'm literally just a teenager, just learning as life goes. You know, we're human, we make mistakes. I'm not trying to say you have to forgive me, but I'm just trying to say, like, I'm just trying to become a better person. Shut up, you're not. You're not, you got caught, bitch. That's the thing, you got caught on camera. Yeah, hey, I'm trying to tell you, 95% of these YouTubers are not the same in person. I'm trying to tell you, uh, it's, it's, it's usually all the happy and bubbly people who swear they have nothing going on in their lives. It's usually them bitches. The bitches you think that are perfect are far from perfect, and I'll let you know that right now. But let me tell you something, whatever you're seeing right now is what you get in person. I don't change for nobody, this is not off a camera. And it's just so crazy that people are really actors when it's recording because I just that could just never be me. You can meet anybody that met me in person, supporters, fans, whoever you want to call it, friends, other fellow YouTubers. Bitch, I'm exactly alike. I'm the same. If not, I'm a bit nicer in person. Am I? To a certain extent. No, because people always tell me I look mean in person. I do get that I'm very intimidated, but I've said this multiple times. I'm gonna say this again. I'm not the type of bitch to just sit there and. My rest of bitch face is always on, and I only speak when spoken to, so if you don't speak to me, I will not speak to you. Okay, because out here in LA, when you say hi to people, they start to make certain faces like, hello. Let me tell you something when it comes to privileged people. They think that they are above everything and anyone. That what they do would just fly past, not in this house, sweetie, not in this court, but y'all got the wrong bitches, okay? We're not letting anything slide. Y'all keep saying we need to cancel people. I really wish that cancel culture was like done because but no one ever cancels anybody. You get canceled for about two weeks and they're right back to where they were. I will say that people do make mistakes, but when people actually start showing that they drawn from the mistake, then I'll start to believe. Are you just saying I'm sorry? I'm sorry doesn't cut these days. You say I'm sorry, you turn that camera off, you go back to doing what the hell you were doing. It's not gonna cut, it's not gonna fly in my book. That's all I feel about some YouTubers, and that's pretty much it. And lastly, let's talk about relationships. Friendships, romantic relationships, whatever, because y'all love when I talk about relationships. The only thing I have to tell y'all about relationships is that if someone is not putting in the time that you want them to put in, it's not worth it. I've learned that the hard way. Well, I actually know that. I just, I'm just a dumb bitch. You know, I just always see the good of people. But if you're putting in time, this person's not putting in time, it's not gonna work. Because let me tell you something. Someone who wants you will do everything they power to keep you and to get you and to have you. And if you feel like that person's not doing it, it ain't right. Stop making excuses for them. Stop doing this. Stop doing that. Also, if you are trying to, like, shoot your shot, I don't know about shooting your shot, but... I just know the generalistic things of shooting a shot is just shoot your shot. See me, this may sound very crazy. I've never shot my shot in my life because I'm not the bitch to approach people. You need to approach me. And that's just how I live and that's just me. It's not that I don't have like the balls to. It's just that I've never seen anyone that I'm like, damn, I need to talk to you. Like, I'm so sorry. It's not that I need to talk to you. It's that you need to talk to me. <laughs> okay. But no. Um, yeah, I've just never shot my shot and, and all the things that I've been in with people are like, you know, They've all approached me. That's it. And that's just the tea on that, sis. And also relationships, too. If you are still in the talking stage, it's fine, sweetie. It's about to be cuffing season, okay? We're about to get into fall. I don't believe in cuffing season, okay? It's what they are. That was me driving and talking about some certain topics that, you know, I feel some stuff on. And if you guys feel the same way or feel a different way, let me know down in the comments down below because you guys know how I feel, so I want to know how you feel. And if anyone has a problem with what was said in this video, I will leave you on this note. I said what I said, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant! Period! That's it. And don't say. That was it for this video, guys. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you like to like, comment, subscribe, 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 like I should. You see me, I'm doing it. You watch, I post. You don't watch, I don't post. So watch. And until then, see you later, my darlings. Bye. Toodaloo.